First tonight at 10, three UW-Madison students are tallying up their tab for a night of party, now facing $86,000 in tickets from Madison Police. The 19th's Mark Lovacott joins us now with tonight's top story, Mark. Pretty expensive night for these kids, Eric, who say their party simply got out of control and they worked to, they tried to work with police, but police, well, they have a very different version of that story. <laughs> It's the Badger football home opener. Like a holiday for some. People would sneak in through the side and the front door. That and for these UW students, it was no different. We obviously had a party. It was game day, um, I don't know, like most people do around here. And ours got a little out of hand. We were at the door trying to kick everyone out, telling everyone to leave. People just kind of sat around here. Obviously got the police attention. It was September 11th. Police say upwards of 200 to 300 people were packed inside this Brook Street home. Police say residents were anything but cooperative. They were eventually cited. And just a few days ago, when papers were served, Travis Ludy, Kevin Tracy, and Mitchell Klatt got the shock of their lives. Oh, I thought it was a joke. $30,000 for yeah. one party each? I mean, that's, that's obnoxious. The students were ticketed for multiple counts of providing alcohol to minors, dispensing alcohol without a permit, and encouragement of underage drinking. When all was said and done, the three were fined 86 grand. Well, I didn't even know it was possible, but I mean... I got less than $100 in my bank account right now. I mean, it's <laughs> for college kids. Yeah. It's obnoxious. These people were in a basement. They had one one up, one avenue to leave if, if, if an emergency happened, if a, if a fire happened. They would have had one, one exit to get all those people out. MPD says their biggest concern about parties this size is safety inside the home and out. They're not looking to bust kids, but when it comes down to it, laws were broken. We're not trying to use it as a billboard, but certainly we see that happen. When these types of high-profile things happen, uh, it has a resonating effect throughout the campus in the sense that everybody hears about it, and um, it, it may have a deterrent effect on, on others thinking of doing the same thing. Obviously, we're not proud of our actions that night. It's not going to happen again. It was a one-time yeah, thing, but to, to teach you a lesson with $90,000 seems a little extreme. In most cases like this one, the students involved will be required to pay a portion of that fine if they behave the rest of the year and have no other contact with police. The rest of the fine is waived. It will be up to those students to work out a, a deal with that or like that with the city attorney involved. Yeah, I don't think you get a student loan to pay for that Not sort of tab. All right, Mark Lovacai reporting. Mark, thank you very much. Sure.